Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we are going to solve question number 2 of weekly contest 450. Minimum swaps to sort by digit sum. Okay, so this problem is actually very interesting. Okay, so let's read the problem straight on first. You are given an array nums of distinct positive integers. You need to sort the array in increasing order based on the sum of the digits of each number. Okay. If two numbers have the same digit sum, the smaller number appears first in the sorted order. Okay. So here, see uh, this example number 3. If you see, so sum of digits is 9. Here 4 plus 3, sum of digits is 7. 3, 4, sum of digits is 7. And here 1, 6, sum of digits is 7. Alright. So now, this here first we have to sort based on the sum of digits right so here 9 is greater than all this okay so this 18 is going to come in the end only right and then all these are having the same same sum right so then we have to sort them based on the number like 16 is going to come first then 34 is going to come and then 43 is going to come okay so this is how we have to sort our nums array right so you are given an array nums of distinct positive integers you need to sort the array in increasing order based on the sum of digits of each number if two numbers have the same digit sum the smaller number appears first in the sorted order okay we have to return the minimum number of swaps required to rearrange nums into this sorted order a swap is defined as exchanging the values at two distinct positions in the array okay so now let's see example number one so three seven uh sum is ten and here one zero zero sum is one okay so 100 is going to come first and then 37 right so only one swap is occurring right here just one swap right one swap between them okay so compute the digit sum for each in in integer three plus seven ten and here one ten one sort the integers based on the digit sum 137 swap 3700 to obtain the sorted order Thus, the minimum number of swaps required to rearrange nums is just one. Okay, clear. Now, see this example number two. Here, sum is four. Uh, here, sum is five. Here, sum is six. Here, sum is seven. Okay. So, no need of sorting right here. So, compute the digit sum for each integer. You get four, five, six, seven. Sort the integers based on the digit sum. The array is already sorted. Thus, the minimum number of swaps required to rearrange nums is zero. Okay. Now see this example number 3. Okay. So here first. Okay. So this 18 is at 0 index initially. This 43 is at 1 index. This 34 is at 2 index. Okay. And this 16 is at 3 index. Okay. And we calculate these sums also. Right. Now let's sort. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let's create one list. Okay. So in that list uh, we will add the digit sums. Okay. We will add the original numbers and we will add the indexes okay so let's create one list of int array okay list of int array so in that int array i'm going to store like this so first i will store the digit sum okay that is nothing but nine and then i will store the number 18 okay and then after that i will store the index okay like this 9810 all right now same way here 7431 7 43 and 1 okay so i'm creating what list of int arrays okay 7 43 1 then here 7 34 2 7 34 and 2 okay and then after that store this 7 16 and 3 7 16 and 3 all right so now once this is done okay once this is done now sort this list of int arrays based on digit sum okay based on digit sums and if the digit sums are same then sort them based on the number value okay num this nums value right so here first see seven is the smallest right among them so seven is going to come first right now we have three such arrays right in which sub digit sum is 7 right now we have to sort them based on the number okay so 16 is smallest so first we have to write this so here i am going to write like this 7 16 
and 3 is going to come first okay then I will write this 7 34 and 2 okay this is done then after that I will write 7 43 and 1 okay and then after that I will write this 9 18 and 0 okay 9 18 and 0 all right so now this is nothing but again list of digits okay I just sort sorted this list so I sorted this list based on digit sum and if digit sum is same then I sorted this list based on the numbers okay now here if you see if you see here this is coming first right this is coming first so this originally this is at 3 right originally if you see this array is at 3 index okay so at 3 index but now in the sorted it is coming at 0 index okay this 0 1 2 3 so this was 3 and this 3 is coming at 0 index okay and if you see this one 7 34 2 so this is was at 2 index okay so here if i write index these are the indexes in 0 1 2 and 3 so this was originally at 2 but now it is coming at 1 okay so this originally was at 2 now it is coming at 1 okay now see this this was originally at 1 but now in our sorted list it is coming at 2 okay now this this is was at originally at index 0 but now it is coming at index 3 okay this is done all right so here i just <coughs> pointed out that initially it was at 3 now it is coming at 0 initially it was at 2 now it is coming at 1 initially it is what was at 1 index now it is coming at 2 initially it was at 0 index now it is coming at 3 okay so now here what you need to do just run one loop okay and what is the total size size is 4 okay so run one your loop okay j is equal to 0 2 you can say j until 3 okay 0 1 2 3 okay all this we have to check okay so now here we have to now calculate the cycles right so here <coughs> 0 so 0 is moving to 3 okay so we are doing the swap now we are doing the swaps here right return the minimum number of swaps required to rearrange the nums into this sorted order a swap is defined as exchanging the values at two distinct positions in the array okay so here see this 0 is moving to 3 okay and this just just mark this 0 as visited okay so first we are starting from 0 so 0 from 0 we move to 3 okay so this is a first cycle okay first cycle okay 0 to 3 then jump to this 3 okay 0 to 3 moving now 3 to 0 okay 3 to 0 so this is one more cycle okay 3 to 0 so just mark this 3 as visited okay so 0 to 3 and 3 to 0 and now see 0 is already visited okay so that simply means that this is one cycle okay so we have to form one cycle okay until we uh, reach to the best already visited uh, value right so here from 0 from 0 i move to 3 and 3 i move to 0 and now 0 is already visited so this is one swap this total is one swap okay but here two cycles are there this is one cycle and this is two cycle right so this is cycle one this is cycle 2 okay and we have already wasted 0 and 3 okay this is wasted and this is wasted now this is done right we again reach to the one wasted okay so just we have to calculate the total number of swaps now so in swaps just initial value of swaps is 0 take that right now in the swaps just add swaps plus uh this cycle swaps 2 right cycle how many cycles are there 2 right one is this and one is this right 0 to 3 then 3 to 0 okay so cycles minus 1 2 okay because here we have to take it 1 only okay so this 2 is just 1 okay so here what you need to do uh swap is 0 initially and cycle is 2 minus 1 so you are going to get 1 only okay so this is number of swaps okay now you move to this one okay 1 to 2 you move okay one cycle mark this one as visited then 2 to 1 there is one more cycle mark this 2 as visited now 1 is already visited so stop here okay so these are visited now done okay so initially you rise at this then this okay and again you have to uh, calculate this swaps okay so in first swap 1 okay previous value of swap is 1 and now cycle again 2 minus 1 1 so you are going to get 2 okay total value of this swaps okay now this 2 is already visited no need to continue this 3 is already visited no need to continue so in the end total swaps is coming out as 2 so that is your output okay so you guys will get much better understanding with the code okay so let's understand the code now 
So here first calculate the length of your num array. Then we have to store the digit sum value and original index in the list of int array. So here I am doing that same thing. Okay. So first we are using the we are storing the digit sums. We are storing the numbers and i value. Okay. And you already know how to calculate the digit sum. Okay. So it is very easy. So here let's say your number is two four. T2 okay so you have to calculate the sum of digits so here 2 plus 4 uh, 5 6 7 8 8 okay so now how you are going to get 8 here so here see 2 4 2 you are passing here sum is 0 2 4 2 is greater than 0 yes so in the sum initial values was 0 okay so sum is equal to 0 plus and now 242 uh, here the remainder of after dividing it with 10 okay so 2 4 2 here you divide it with 10 so what is the remainder you are going to get okay so here 2 4 240 so you are going to get 2 okay so you are getting 2 here so sum is equal to you are adding this 2 right so sum is equal to 2 now your new number is divided by divided by uh this 2 242 divided by 10 so you your this value okay 24 so this is going to be your new number okay 24 now again number is greater than 24 is greater than 0 again so again 24 uh modulus with 10 you are going to get the remainder as 4 okay that simply means this digit so 4 plus 2 6 is your new sum value and number is equal to 24 divided by 10 you are going to get 2 okay now next time number is again greater than 0 okay so here sum is equal to num 2 divided by 10 so remainder you are going to get 2 only okay this value so sum is going to become 8 and next time your number is going to become 0 right so this is done okay because 2 divided by 10 0 only so now number is 0 so no, no need to execute so in the end your sum was 8 so this is how you get put the sum okay so this is very easy we studied this many multiple times many times so now after that we have to sort by digit sum and then by value okay so sorted list dot sort so two parameters are there a and b so first we have to sort them if a of 0 is not equal to b 0 then we have to sort them based on their digit sum okay otherwise we have to sort them based on their nums of i value okay so simple function for that okay so a and b are two parameters so first we are comparing the values at zero index of these two parameters a of zero and b of zero if they are not matching okay then just compare them based on a of zero and b of zero but if they are matching then just compare them based on a of one and v of one okay so this is for that now after that we have to map the original index to the sorted position okay so i am going to create one index map of same length and then i am index map sorted list dot get i 2 is equal to 0 all right so here this is the step right 3 is mapped to 0 2 is mapped to 1 1 is mapped to 2 0 is mapped to 3 okay so this is a step for this index map sorted list dot get i and 2 at 2 what we have the original uh the actual indexes okay so i am mapping them with the this new values okay so here see 3 0 2 this one 1 this 2 and this 0 this 3 okay so this is what i'm doing here okay now we have to find the cycle so i'm creating one bisted array okay so now here initially all the values are false right in java and here swaps is zero now i am iterating running this loop i is to zero i less than n i plus plus and here i'm checking if i have already bisted this okay then i have to continue or if the index map of i is equal to y okay so that simply means if this 3 is equal to 3 okay if this 0 is equal to 3 then there is no requirement of swap no? so we are just continue now we are after that we are calculating the cycle size so i am taking the cycle size value is 0 and j value is equal to i now here i am checking why we have not visited this j until then we have to do so first we have to mark this true and then we have to update j as index map of j okay so here 0 to 3 okay the next time i am checking 3 okay so that's the step i am doing here okay j is equal to index map of j and then i am incrementing the cycle size okay so we have to only stop when until this is condition is satisfied okay until if it becomes true then we have to stop okay we have we have already visited that particular set okay now if your cycle size is greater than zero then in the swaps you have to swaps plus cycle size minus one okay so this is what we are doing here to calculate the swaps right and in the end just return swaps that's it okay right so we are able to pass this complete solution right so i hope that you guys are clear with question number two of weekly contest 450 if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section Till then, keep coding and keep practicing. Wish you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.